Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and good morning, parliamentarians. The Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment consistently seeks to improve the delivery of services to the poor and vulnerable population in St. Lucia. As such, it has engaged civil society groups and faith-based organizations with a track record of vibrant community outreach in the area of social care in relevant discussions to inculcate a culture of caring in St. Lucia. For the first time on record, St. Lucia will join in the observance of National Caring Day, an initiative created by Caring Bridge, a registered nonprofit organization. In fulfillment of the corporate responsibility and in an effort to give back to society, community and faith-based organizations have agreed to collaborate with the Ministry of Equity for hosting an annual day of caring where vulnerable persons will be treated to a series of activities promoting their spiritual upliftment, recreation, and entertainment. As an immediate outcome, the parties have identified existing synergies in the mutual efforts of outreach and service to the homeless, persons with disabilities, impoverished, and indigent constituents in society. While the commemor commemoration Cadet for this year will focus on persons living with disabilities. The observance of National Day of Caring is to bring to focus and to celebrate our own caring ways. Additionally, it is to encourage caring and to deepen our passion for caring. Caring for our environment, caring for our neighbors, caring for persons with disabilities, caring for animals, caring for our communities. It is to foster the rushing attitude just to provide a caring deed. The National Day of Caring will be launched on Wednesday, 7th June 2023 at the Constitution Park in Castries. The theme for this year observance is caring for each other. Make a difference in your community. Coupled with color, a color scheme of white and a touch of other national flag colors, we will celebrate a caring day. Apart from remarks from the from the minister, myself, and other community and faith-based leaders, the ceremony will see the presentation of awards to five persons with disabilities who have made significant contribution to society. Two other major activities will be a panel discussion, grouping faith-based and other civil society organizations with a track record of vibrant community outreach and offering specialized care to families with children who are mentally challenged and with sick and shutting elderly in the need of social assistance and psycho, psychological, psychosocial emotional support. The National Day of Caring will also endorse activities that promote spiritual upliftment as well as recreation, entertainment, and personal assistance to those deemed most vulnerable. Activities will be hosted island-wide by schools, community organizations, youth, and sporting groups. The observance of National Day of Caring is expected to be an annual event with different areas of vulnerability being placed under the microscope as the observance advances. Mr. Speaker, this is the statement that as we bring this National Day of Caring to our society, but I would like to end on a, a very important note that this month was blind Awareness Month, and today being the last day, I would like to join, well, I think that the, 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 the association for blind, the Blind Welfare Association did invite myself to participate in a church service in Tuapito, but I want to share with you just five seconds of the reality, and I ask all of us to close our eyes for about 10 seconds. Please, everyone, as we share in the world of those persons who are visually impaired, as I take my seat. Thank you very much. As you close your eyes, just for five seconds, everyone, please. As you do so, please remember this is the world that those who are visually impaired, this is the reality. Thank you very much.